In this video, we will discuss about dihybrid test cross. In the previous video, I discussed regarding test cross in monohybrid cross. So, similar to that of monohybrid cross, even in dihybrid cross, test cross is a crossing of a plant of unknown genotype with a double recessive parent. So, usually crossing of hybrid plant of F1 generation with a double recessive parent. And the intention of test cross is similar to that of monohybrid cross. Even in the dihybrid cross, the intention of test cross is to find out the genotype of unknown plant by crossing it with a double recessive parent. We will discuss more about test cross by taking the common example of dihybrid cross that is crossing between round yellow seeds with the wrinkled green seeds. So this is the phenotype of the plant. And the genotype is capital R, capital R, capital Y, capital Y, small r, small r, small y, small y. So this is the genotype of the plant. And the gamete produced is capital R, capital Y. So this can produce all the gamete with the capital R, capital Y. And this can produce small r, small y. So this is the gamete produced by both the parent. And if you made a cross between these two, you will get a hybrid plant that is capital R, small r, capital Y, small y. So this is the hybrid plant that Mendel got in F1 generation. And the phenotype of this plant that the Mendel got is round and yellow seed. So he got round and yellow seeds in the F1 generation but he don't know the genotype of this plant. So to find out the genotype he did the test cross that is he crossed this plant with the double recessive parent because the genotype could be even capital R capital R capital Y capital Y like that of the one of the parent even in this condition it produces round and yellow seeds. So to confirm with the genotype he did the test cross. So there are two possibility. One possibility is hybrid that is capital R small r, capital Y small y. Another possibility is capital R capital R, capital Y capital Y. We will write the two possibilities separately. First one is crossing between the F1 plant having homozygous dominant genotype with the double recessive parent. Another possibility is F1 plant with the heterozygous genotype and crossing it with the double recessive parent. So we will do the test cross one by one. First crossing between the homozygous dominant parent with the double recessive parent. Next step is writing the gamete. So this plant can produce a gamete with the factor capital R capital Y. So all gametes will be having the factor capital R capital Y. So this plant can produce the gamete having the factor small r small y. So all gamete will be having the factor small r small y. So when you made a cross between these two plant you will get a hybrid plant that is capital R small r capital Y small y. So this is a hybrid plant. And the genotype of this plant is round yellow. So this plant produce round and yellow seeds. So in the first possibility you will get all the plant producing round and yellow seeds. We will move on to next possibility. Second possibility is crossing the F1 plant which is heterozygous that is capital R small r capital Y small y with the double recessive parent. Next step is gamete. So this heterozygous parent can produce four types of gamete that is capital R capital Y capital R, small y, small r, capital Y and small r, small y. So these are the four types of gamete produced by this heterozygous or hybrid parent. And the gamete produced by this plant is only of one type that is with the factor small r, small y. So all gametes will be having the factor small r, small y. Now we will draw the Punnett square to find out the possible result of this genetic cross. So in the Punnett square we are writing the male gamete onto the top and female gamete onto the left side. And the male gametes are capital R, capital Y, capital R, small y, 
small r capital y small r small y and only one type of female gamete will be produced that is small r small y we will let the genotype of possible offspring so that is capital r small r capital y small y capital r small r small y small y small r small r capital y small y small r small r small y small y we will write the phenotype of these offspring so first one is round yellow second one is round green this is wrinkled yellow and this is wrinkled green so if you write a phenotypic ratio phenotypic ratio so round yellow is to round green is to wrinkled yellow is to wrinkled green and the number is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 so here the phenotypic ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 whereas here all the plant produces round and yellow seeds that is the phenotypic ratio is 1 is to 0 or 1 is to 0 is to 0 is to 0 so all plant will produce round and yellow seeds so you got two different results when you made the two possibilities of test cross so if you made a cross between the plant of unknown genotype with the double recessive parent if you get all the plant producing round and yellow seeds then you can conclude that the genotype of the unknown plant is homozygous dominant so if you get the phenotypic ratio as a 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 then you can conclude that the genotype of the unknown plant is heterozygous so that is how exactly mendel did test cross to find out the genotype of the unknown plant thank you